Thanks. Yep, it's true. DC superhero The Flash has a big standalone movie new in theaters, but it's actually the movie's very special guest star that has a lot of us excited. You're, you are, you're, yeah. I'm Batman. Yeah, Michael Keaton don in the bat cape for the first time in 30 years. Now you see the Flash, once again played by the troubled Ezra Miller, has done some time traveling, made a multiverse mess. That puts him on a super fast adventure in an alternate timeline with a different version of himself and also alternate Batman, Keaton. Uh, director Andy Muschietti, maker of the It movies, having big fun with this one. Sometimes silly, some of the effects are wonky, but really fun. With big action humor and heart, I had a good time. Three stars. So you've never left Firetown? Sorry, buddy. Elements don't mix. Whoa! Now then, also new in theaters, you got Pixar Animation's latest, Elemental. About a fire element and a water element out to overcome their big differences when they fall in love. Reviews are good. In your predicament, the black character is always the first to die. I will spare your lives if you sacrifice the person you deem the blackest. And reviews are also pretty good for the blackening. A horror satire about some friends trying to survive a killer in a cabin in the woods using their knowledge of all those black people in horror movies tropes. Power sink with walls and Empire's Grace Byers among that cast. I was nervous to bring you here, but I didn't know you were going to spend the whole time embarrassing me. <laughs> now then, about my father, the Sebastian Maniscalco, Robert De Niro father-son comedy goes from theaters to home on premium VOD, as does Kandahar with Gerard Butler fighting his way out of Afghanistan, Becky sequel The Wrath of Becky, teenager Lulu Wilson getting violent again, and the divisive Bo is Afraid with Joaquin Phoenix having one very long and very weird anxiety attack. Is Maggie 1 a mistake for Maggie 2, or is Maggie 2 to cover for Maggie 1? Uh, and John Hamm and Tina Fey reunite on demand in Maggie Moore's, a comic murder mystery directed by his Mad Men buddy, John Slattery. You ready for some fancy flying, Erica? Oh, you know I've got this. And hang on, on to streaming, where Paramount Plus launches a new season of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Stars, a new season of their hit Outlander. AMC Plus, a new Walking Dead spinoff, Dead City. And later this weekend, HBO starts a new season of their televangelist comedy, The Righteous Gemstones. Whatever crazy scheme he's cooked up, just say no. Then next we have The Full Monty, yeah, a new sequel series to that 90s movie about amateur male strippers. Most of the cast is back. That's on Hulu. As is Jagged Mind, a new thriller about a woman stuck in a first date time loop. And from theater, Chevalier, the true story of a mixed race composer in 18th century France. That's also on demand. They are not taking her away without a fight. Meanwhile, Peacock adds from theaters, Polite Society, about a martial arts girl on a mission to stop her sister's wedding. I'm Stan Lee, editor of the Marvel Comics Group. Well, Disney Plus premieres Stan Lee, a new documentary about the life of that comic book icon. And finally, Netflix not only has a new season of their anthology, Black Mirror, but also the big new movie sequel, Extraction 2. Getting you out of here, okay? Yep, mercenary Chris Hemsworth back in action. That's a look at what's new from the director's chair.